Hi, I'm Chris McDonald and I'm really interested in industrial strategy. This video blog is part of a short series on skills and here I want to talk about lifelong learning. Much of our attention when we talk about skills is focused on young people. This is completely understandable and it was in fact the focus of an earlier video blog of mine. However, increasingly we need to give more thought to lifelong learning. How older people already in the workforce are able to keep their existing skills up to date or learn new skills. The need for this is increasingly important as we progress through the fourth industrial revolution. This period of transformational change is seeing the emergence of new digital technologies and automation and it has the power to render hard-won skills redundant overnight. Even where this does not happen the rapid pace of technological change means that existing skills need to be refreshed to remain relevant. For too long, lifelong learning has been a neglected area of education and skills, but to be fit for the future, we need to make this both a personal and a national priority. A personal priority because it is important that individuals take responsibility for keeping their own skills up to date. No one has more to gain from developing your skills than you do. It can be hard work. Many employers do not have the scale or resources to support lifelong learning in the way they might have done in the past. And finding the motivation to study after a long day at work can be difficult, but it is also hugely rewarding. It's the case that not all learning needs to be off the job. In fact, some of the most useful lifelong learning can be found on the job by stretching existing tasks and capabilities. Lifelong learning also needs to be a national priority too. Education is a public good. It benefits the individual, but society benefits too from increases in productivity, growth in our economy and better, more efficient public services. Policies that support lifelong learning would include support for educational fees for older students, free access to night classes, and incentives to individuals and employers for increasing the skills of the workforce. We are playing our part here at the Materials Processing Institute through our annual Postgraduate Research Symposium, which brings together academics and industrialists in the field of ferrous metallurgy. This really makes the point that Another important aspect of lifelong learning is having the institutions in place to support this and it's something I'm going to look at in my next video blog. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to follow my skills mini-series or find out more about industrial strategy then do get along to my YouTube channel and click on subscribe. Bye for now.